Drop your face mask, Wargamers, because today we are breaking curfew. Specifically, we're going to church. Once more, we are doing some fourth generation Wargaming using Riot, revolting people from Watt Tyler to Watts, by the inestimable Matthew Hartley. In today's scenario, we have three different groups of rioters. We've got one group of lynchers who are just trying to get to church. Knowing how dangerous that can be to the powers that be, the police have been notified. And we're going to turn them around so they're facing the right way. And they are looking to block all access to church in the resultant confusion. And they are so scared for the first time, they have alerted the militia. The local National Guard has been called. They're not on the table yet. They're going to come out soon. Knowing that there would be conflict, a bunch of malcontents and ne'er-do-wells have arrived in order to do some looting. So we've got two mobs of looters, one mob of lynchers. The lynchers goal is there. The looters goal, as usual, is to burn and steal. And we've got some lovely counters to mark where they have. Once the first fire marker appears, our security forces can summon the fire department. We've got two of those, and we don't know where they're going to come on yet. Um, likewise with the National Guard. The National Guard aren't going to come on until D3 plus one. So they're going to come on either this two, three, or fourth turn. And it's going to be turn number four. So there is your National Guard counter. When they come on, we're going to roll a D6. And on a one, they'll come on here. Two. No, let's call it one, two, three, four, five, six. Likewise, with the fire department, we don't know where they're coming from. We will roll a D6. Same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. To see where they come on. With all of that out of the way, We'll take the first turn for our security forces, and that's going to be a D6. They get a grand total of 1 AP, so they are now in trouble. Um, we're going to move these guys up the 2 inches, 1, 2, to there. Uh, notice that there is a uh, Optimus Prime here is blocking that alley, so no one is going to be able to move down that alley. That's it for our security forces. So we have to roll for each of our mobs, and we'll start here with our looter mob. And because they're far enough away from security, on a one or a two, they're going to set a fire. And that's exactly what they do. So the nearest square, as we learned last time, this is our leader base. I think you can see that. And the nearest square, we're going to call it right there. Actually, that's the biggest one. So we got one fire. For these guys, these are lynchers. They are going to move. On a 1 through 5, they move. And on a 6, they attack. And for our lynchers, an attack means move at full speed towards the nearest security forces. Well, it doesn't matter. It's the same result either way. They're going to move 2 inches up. And everybody snakes in behind. Then your humble host is going to walk around to the other side. And let's see what these looters do. On a four, they are going to loot. And that's what this counter is right here. So we're going to loot. Uh, the nearest is going to be this guy right there. So no fires. No more looting. And moving on. So, that was turn. Three more turns before our National Guard arrives on scene. The first of the fire engines arrives because we do have one fire. Now, they have to be adjacent to the fire and roll a five or a six. They spend one AP. So, on a five, they come at one, two, Three, four, five. So they actually come on right there. And they are undefended for now. Which may be a problem. They may not be able to do anything until these guys get out of the way. 
AP for security forces. Six AP is great. It means they're going to be able to move up. We're actually going to move these guys to safety. They're going to move... Wait. Fire engines can move... How far can a fire? Ten inches. So he's going to move... Hmm. There's no way to get through here. They can't move through there. So they're just going to move over here to stay safe. And keep an eye on that mob who may be doing some looting, some arson themselves. Uh, with five AP left, we'll move these guys up. We'll spend two of them to move these guys four inches. And with the other two, we'll move these guys up. A total of four inches. This mob of looters is going to... They are far from security forces, so they are going to loot. So there's a loot. These guys are going to... You know what? They are far enough away. It doesn't matter what you roll. They're going to move up one and two inches. These bases are two inches. That's right, Archie. These bases are two inches, excuse me, are one inch squares. So I just use them for measuring my basic movement. And then these guys over here, we roll a d6. And on a six, we roll four looters. A six is withdraw. Well, there's nowhere to withdraw to. We're going to have to go to the rule book on that one. Apparently, fire trucks are considered security forces. Since this is the nearest, well, we should probably measure. We are 7 inches from that one and 8 inches from that base. So they're going to withdraw 2 inches away from him, which moves up to here. And our rioters are going to, we'll try to move them as uh, far away as possible. They're going to slide down. So that's it. That's it for those guys. Now we are only two turns away from the big boys showing up. We're going to roll four AP. So we got three AP. We're going to bring these guys up two inches with an AP. We'll bring these guys up two inches. So that puts them right here. And we've got one more AP. Let's go ahead and bring our fire truck over to here. Because we got to get it over to this fire. So for our rioters, we'll start over here. And on a two for looters who are far away, they're going to set... Another fire right there. Well, which square is closest to the... Yep. Okay, so we got two fires burning. We got to do something about that. Um, lynchers. Pretty much anything. They're going to move up. And try to break through that one set of police. One thing we haven't talked about is what the victory points are here. Uh, I am going to have to play it by ear. We'll see how well I do and whether I win or not at the end. Uh, how much damage we can limit. To be honest with you, I haven't played the game enough to understand how the victory points work. I kind of think that if I can prevent these guys, that's worth like six victory points. And then I lose a victory point for every fire. Uh, and if I can come up with a positive number of victory points, then I win the game. But I don't know. We'll talk about that when the game ends. For now, we got to figure out what these guys are doing. Those guys are looters, and on a one, they set another fire. Oh, I kind of knew it. I kind of knew it. And I think this is probably the building closest to our leader. So, with that said, this is the last turn before the National Guard appear on scene. And we've got a lot of AP. So... He still can't get around to here because he has to stop. There's a one inch, call it a zone of control. So he can't do much. 
I think what we'll do is bring these guys up two inches. So that's one. I'm gonna bring these guys one, two, that's two, three, no, I just, I think, I think what we'll do is that's one, we'll call that two AP, and then we'll spend the rest of the AP, we'll call that three AP to bring them up to there, and then we've got three left to bring this guy six inches over to here, so... We'll bring those guys up to try and control that intersection there. I think that's the best we can do. These guys, roll a d6, and on a 6, they withdraw. So we're going to pull them back to 1, 2, to here. So they do... Oh, we lost one man down. Man down. Got to fix him later. Uh, these black black guys are... Uh, man, they're really fragile, aren't they? So for the lynchers... Actually, I want to roll for these guys first. On a two, they are going to commit arson. The nearest unburnt is probably right there. And for our lynchers, this is where it gets interesting. On a one through five... They will move. And the way our AI works is they move at full speed towards a target. That's all it says. Full speed towards a target. But I didn't get an attack. So I think they pull up one inch away. Unless they get an attack result, I don't think they'll attack. These are peaceful, unlike your normal peaceful protesters. They just want to go to church, man. Just lift the, lift the, lift the stuff. All right, so these guys. Oh, that's not that's not what that's a one. Okay, so last set of uh, riders. We get a one for those guys, and no, we set a fire there, withdrew here, moved them up. So yeah, we're done. And now, it's time for the security forces. Uh, we're going to roll a d6 for two. So we're going to bring on our National Guard as a group. And let's see where they come on from. Five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. So these transports can move ten inches. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to bring them up four inches to there. Oh, they got to... Hmm. I guess those transports were a bit of a waste of money. They're going to pull up... Hmm. Okay, I did this wrong. On a move order, they will move to combat. We'll get it right next time. The rules don't say how many AP it takes to disembark. Uh, I am going to bring these guys on for one AP, and then I'm going to disembark for a second AP. And they're going to focus their efforts on the churchgoers, the real threat to the powers that be. And that's all the AP I have for this turn. It's going to cost me one AP to bring this last fire engine back onto the board as well. So we'll save that for next time. Meanwhile, it is... So that's one, two... And then I have one more AP I can spend. Uh, oh, so I can move to contact. That's three. Very good. I take it back. They're going to use that third AP to attack. These guys are armed with missile weapons. Now, 
They're not gunning them down. Missile weapons does include non-lethal munitions. They act the same way in game terms, so we'll say they're firing rubber bullets to discourage these people from trying to partake of the sacraments. Attack as normal. We're going to start with... Hmm, now this is interesting. We've never done missile armed combat. So how does it differ? I think it differs because they're going to shoot at these guys who have a total of one, two, three, and they've only got an add one to the roll. And because it's a missile combat, they can't be negatively affected. That's probably the best way to do this. So because shooting here first, because they've got two here and one here, we're going to be adding three to the roll. Let's see, am I missing anything? Mob, horse, melee, for infantry, artillery. Okay. So minus three, and then he gets a plus one. So we're at a total of plus two to the roll. And on a roll of 13, nothing happens. Here, we've got the same thing. He's got... No, we don't. It's even Stevens, because we've got minus 2 to the roll, plus 2 to the roll. So it's a straight roll. And on a 9, nothing happens. And for this last guy, we've got uh, minus 3, plus 1. So add 2 on an 8. It would be security retreat, but like I said, no negative results because we are... At a distance. So all of that shooting signifies nothing. That's all right. Because it is now the rioters' turns. We'll start with these guys. As usual, they're pretty far from the nearest security forces, so on a four, they're going to loot. And that is the nearest unlooted building. These guys are on a six. That's a withdraw order. So our leader is going to, let's see, we're going to pull back one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. And then for our lynchers, we roll a six, which is attack. So they pile in, and we're going to bring these guys to base-to-base -base contact. And that could be an issue. So they are getting shot at, and clearly what happened is they freaked and said, Oh, no, you don't. Wait a minute. Did I do that right? Uh, they are within two inches. So normally, they would withdraw. Yeah, so I, I did get that wrong. They're actually going to turn on these guys. That six is a withdraw order. So on taking fire, they said... We're not having any of that, boys. And they have piled in this way. We'll leave our leader in the front. And we got our 909. So we got some more combats to do. Let's start on this side, and it should be very similar. They are supported by two, so we're going to subtract three from the... Subtract three from the roll for these guys, and we're going to add one, so it's a total of minus two to the roll. I'm sorry, it's a total of plus two to the roll. On a nine, the security retreats to there. Now we've got uh, plus four to the roll, minus one, so it's a total of plus three. And on a ten, the security is destroyed. Get out of here. Last one, we've got a total of plus three, minus one, it's plus two to the roll. And on a ten, these guys are also destroyed. Um, yeah, don't mess, don't mess with these guys. So, 
That's the end of the turn. We roll for APs for the security forces. And we get two whole points. I might not have bought enough security forces. Two whole points, huh? Well, how far can a tank move? Five inches. I think the way to play it is to bring Mr. Tanky over to here. Because now we're within three inches of those guys. So we can threaten those guys. That's going to affect how the AI works. And then for the second one, we're going to go ahead and take a shot at these guys. With that second AP. And that's not a great result. It's going to be adding three. So that's a 12, but we're at a distance, so nothing happens. And we're back on to the rioters' turn. These guys down here in the corner are having the time of their lives, aren't they? On a roll of two, they're far enough away, they get to set another fire. Yeehaw! Where's our leader base? Do you see a... He's right here. So we're going to set, I guess, that one on fire. These guys, now, for the first time, we're going to roll on the, we're too close to a tank. So on a one, they loot. On a two or a three, they withdraw. And on a four, five, or six, they flee. So on a one, wow, those guys are brave. They loot. They say, I, I, don't, I don't care, man. You're squish me with the tank. i got to get my new Air Jordans. And now for our lynchers who are putting up a fight, they are within, so the leader is within two inches of those guys. In fact, we know that because they withdrew. So on a roll of one, it's going to be a move, so they resume their march forward. Unfortunately for him, these guys kind of left him high and dry. So we're going to have one combat, and he is going to be at a minus one. So he's at least supported by two fellows behind him. He's supported by one, so there's a difference of one. And we're just going to add one to this roll. So five, six. Wait a minute. Is that right? There might be one more. Riders with attack action get a plus three. Okay. So it's going to be plus five, minus one. So add four to that. That's a nine. Security retreats one, two inches. And that is the end of the turn. So security gets another chance to do something. Let's see how they do on their AP roll. Five. So they finally get a result that will allow them to do something with this fire engine. Okay, so that's the first thing we want to do. Fire engine is going to move up four inches to get to there. And then it's going to move six inches over to here. So we're going to try to put out some fires. We're also going to try to protect them. Uh, so to do that, we're going to go one, two. We move these guys as a group to there. Ba -ba -ba -ba. So that's three AP. He's got a range of three, and he's just out of range. So that's, we'll move, what does the tank do? The tank is going to move to here. He gets a minus three in melee combat. Oh, he's got to stop there. And then he moves to there. So that's one, two AP. So we did one, two, three, four. <laughs> and then we're going to move this guy up for our fifth AP. No, we better not do that. No, we better not. We better back him off to there. Leave him close enough. Yeah, it's about the best we can do. We're going to make those guys a unit again. Maybe we can direct them around this way and buy ourselves some time. And we've got one combat over here. He is at a minus three. He is at a plus four. So we're at a total of plus one to this roll. And on a four, so he does. 
that's an overrun attack, and we wipe that guy out. Remember, we only need to kill seven of these guys, and then the rest of them disappear. So that's kind of the best we can hope for. And it is time for rioters down here. On a five, with no security forces anywhere near them, they're going to loot. These guys, now with a tank. On a three, they withdraw. So their withdraw looks like this. One, two, one, one, two. We'll move these guys up. One, two, to keep them in contact, and then these guys will move diagonal. And I think that's I think that's it. Now for our churchgoers. Try that again. On a one, they're gonna move. Now they don't have to move to attack. He can go one, two. And these guys will move too. He's gonna try to take this route to get to the church. And so we may have to bring these guys back to cut them off the pass. But we'll worry about that when the time comes. Uh, any combats? Nope. So we move on to security. Six. We needed that. So this guy is going to move to here and spend one AP to try to put this fire out. And on a five or six he does, he does not. So that's two AP. He moves to contact... One, two. That's three. You know what? He can't do that. He would have to go two there. I think I'm going to move there and move to contact. So that's one, two, three. Uh, mm, they will attack this. So I got to move four. Five. We gotta try to get ahead of it to protect that fire truck. Nothing for it. Moving over here, this is gonna be at a minus three and a plus one. We are at a total of minus two to the roll for that combat. We roll a six, which is a rioter retreat. So we'll push all these guys back one space. Is retreat one space or two? Withdraw is one space. All right, let's roll for AP. Oh, no. We got to see what these guys do on their turn. On a four. They loot. These guys over here next. They're close to a tank. On a five. With a tank, they flee. So we'll run them. Where's flee is... Two inches away. One, two. One, two. And now we'll all just follow right on behind. Like that. Leaving as much space as possible. Now our churchgoers on a five, they move. So he's going to go one, two. They'll go one, two. One, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Everybody moves two. Trying to keep them moving as quickly as possible. One, two. So there we go. Filling in as necessary. Nudge them around a little bit there. How about... That's it. On the security forces. 3 AP, so that's not a lot. First thing we're going to do is bring these guys up 1, 2. The next turn we'll leapfrog. Then we're going to try to put that fire out. And we do not. And then we'll make an overrun attack on those guys. So those guys have a 2, plus 2, minus, we got a minus 1 on this. And a 4, another one decides... But he has seen enough of this, and we're going to move up and cut him off. 
because that prevents all the, the contact there. And now we're on to the rioters. On a two, with nobody around, they're going to light another fire. And the leader is... I don't, how are they doing this, man? It says the nearest... There's the leader. So I guess the nearest building is... Right there. All right. Uh, these guys on a six... Now, they are within... They attack. They're close enough to these guys that they go, Hey, you're cutting off our, our avenue, so we're going to go to here. The leader will close in. They'll close ranks. And because they have an attack result... They get a plus three on first contact. So he gets plus three, plus four. And that becomes a minus three to the roll. Or a plus three to the roll. And a 12 destroys him. Not looking good for team security. You messed with the wrong churchgoers, I guess. Did I forget to... No, I... Okay, so, there's a... They're still within to so withdraw. They are going to move one, two to get away. Two, two, one, two, one, two. And then these guys have to try to move back into contact. So they'll go one, two, uh, one, two, and then I guess we'll go one, two like that. So now they have to try to move to join up with him as soon as possible. In the meantime, we rolled for them. They did combat. We rolled for them. It's back to security forces. We really need some more AP. I just don't see how we can do this without having more actions. Um, he can move over here. I think we got to try and destroy these guys first. Uh, he can move over there. That's going to cost 2 AP. We're going to try to put this fire out with our... Th no? Yeah, we're going to try to put this fire out with our... Th no, we're not. We're going to bring him up too. And he's going to come up too. And that's going to be our third AP. Now he's safe. At least for the moment. So, rioters over here. We got one attack. And that attack is going to be at a minus 2. 7 minus 2 is a 5. Rioter retreat, 1 inch. They're going to go here and there. And we're not going to move that group. They're not part of this group until they rejoin, which will happen right now. Let's roll for these guys first. They're just having a grand old time beating up on these buildings down here. Uh, oh, it's the big box store. They're just uh, running rampant inside the big box store. Those guys over there are going to... That's a one. On a one, they loot the nearest... So we're out of loot tokens. Uh, so they looted the, uh, the corner store there. Which leaves our... Our churchgoers, who have had just about enough of this nonsense. Alright, we're moving. So we've scared off the police. And we can go one, two. One, two. Well, that's probably a little too far. And then bring them all up. Like that. They still have not lost a single base. I tell you, man. These churchgoers are a real problem. Let's roll some big AP here, huh? Let's see if we can put something together. Three... Well, we can only we only have to spend one AP to get to there to make our attack. Uh, we're gonna spend one AP down here to wheel around. So he goes one two one two. Maybe we can push these guys off. There's no rules for pushing them off the board. I'm not sure why, but uh, we have a combat over here. We are at a total of minus one to the die roll. A six is going to be a rioter retreat. So we'll just move him up one stand. 
and call it quits. Let's find out what they do on their turn. On a four, close to a tank, they flee two inches. Meantime, he's going to go one, two, one, two. And we'll just pile into the park, try to slip through there and hope the tank doesn't follow. The churchgoers are going to move one, two. And these guys down in the corner who they just, they don't, they're not interested in walking around at all. They're going to loot. I'm out of loot counters. I don't know what happens when I'm out of loot counters. I'm going to use an upside down counter here. So they're just trashing the joint. And that's it. Let's find out our AP. 4 AP. That may be enough to do something. We're going to move these guys up 1, 2. And stop right there. So that reprograms them because they're close to the bad guys. We're going to bring him up to there and make an attack. So first of our attack, he has a total of minus 2 to the roll. And a 9 minus 2 is a 7. That is a standoff. Nothing happens. So that's it. Back to here. These guys on a 1. Now they're within... They're close to the security forces. So it, the result is you're going to be surprised by this. It's amazing. They decide to commit arson. These guys decide to... What do we do? Security is far away. On a six, they withdraw from the nearest security, so that's going to be, we'll call it, go one, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. And one, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. There we go. We're getting warmer. And then these guys are... Still close to the tank, so they are going to flee once again. And that means going to there will now bring these guys up. Oh, hey, there you are. I didn't realize you were slipping through the park like that. Come on, security forces. Four. All right, we're going to bring these guys. We're going to spend one AP to load them up. And we're going to move them... Eight inches to here. And we're just going to leave them there for now. So that's... Because I don't know which way I want to go yet. So that's two... These guys are going to hold tight. So that's two, and then this is two as well. One to contact, and one to attack. So, oh yeah, I know exactly what we're going to do. Okay, so that's an attack at minus two. On a six, the rioters retreat. That's it. That's the only combat we've got. So, down here. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four. Okay, yep. So, down here, we are within two inches of security. So, on a roll of a three, we're going to loot. Uh, okay, I will swap this out. And we'll call that a loot counter, the upside down. I've only got two, four, five, six loot counters, huh? That doesn't seem right. I thought I had more loot counters. Two, four, six. Oh, seven loot counters. Okay, yep, that's right. And there's another fire for our police department to put out. For our fire department to put out. Uh, these guys are far from security, so they're just going to take their normal one, two. One, two. I think they're going to church. I don't know if there's anything I can do to stop them at this point. And over here, these guys are close to the tank. On a three, they are going to withdraw 
one space away, one. There we go. So, security forces, five AP, five AP. Oh, we can do something with that. So, uh, we're going to drive over to here. We're going to spend three AP. We're going to drive over to here. We are going to unload these guys here, and then we're going to attack on this side. So that's one, two, three AP. He's going to move to here, and then to here, that's five AP. That's all we're doing. We are going to snuff out this over here, and it gets interesting because we're going to start here. He has two guys behind him. So we're, we are at minus three, minus one, but... Because they're being attacked from two sides, there's an additional minus two. So we're at a total of minus six. So minus four to the roll. That should be huge. And on a four, yep, he goes by by. All right. Now we got to roll for this guy. They are at a total of plus two. Minus two because they're being attacked from a couple of different directions. Oh, I shouldn't have moved into melee. It's plus two, minus two, and we got no support. That's it. On a five, rioter retreat. Back to rioters. I'm going to start with my lynchers. One, two. They're just working their way up the streets. Nothing can stop them. So we're going to let them roll. That's going to be the end of the game. Once they finally get there, that'll be it. It looks like it's going to be about one, two, three, about four more turns before we finally lose. I want to see if we can knock them out of the game for good. Uh, in the meantime, down here, uh, these guys roll a two, so that's going to be another loot. We'll make our upside down. There's, boy, this whole big box store is just taking it on the chin, isn't it? Over here, they're close to a tank, so a four means flee. But they're not looting. That's the value of the tank. And on a flee, they move two inches. And I think over here, if I can drive these guys... You know what? I'm going to bring all these guys up here. I think if I can drive those guys off the table this way, I think we'll call that a, a victory on that Scott and on that side. On to security force. We only get one AP. That's great. That's great. Okay, so we're gonna use our one AP mm, to go after that guy. And uh, he's only got one support, so this is gonna be a total of minus two. On a seven, it's a push. And what do they do in response? On a six, they flee. So that's another two inches. One, two. Uh, oh, you know what? They should be... Once they hit this point, they should be expanding to fill out the road. So we'll pull them back a little bit. And we'll... Let's see. One, two... These guys don't have the AP to move any further. So that's it for them. And that makes things awkward for our security forces, which is good. I like it when things are challenging. These guys, as usual, I think because they're far enough away, all they're ever going to do is move their two inches. There we go. And now down this corner, we got them bottled up. On a six, they withdraw. So that's going to be two inches away. Two, two, two. Uh, that looks like a little more than two. Bring them in like that. One, two, one, two. And then they'll come back to there. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Same thing. If we can push them off around that way, we'll call that a win. Uh, we've only got two AP to do it, so we got to move these guys up just to keep an eye on them. And then I think what we'll do is move him up to there. He can't move to contact, but at least it resets things. 
There's no combat on this turn, so on a two, they withdraw, and that's going to be just one space. Over here, as usual, they're going to move their two inches. And down in the corner, we get a three, which when you are within, that's another withdraw. So withdraw is just one space. They're running out of room, so they get one more withdraw. And then we're going to start pushing them off. So, AP for security. One. Go figure. Uh, he's close enough to keep them running away. So let's... Um, let's try and put out this fire. Nope, we need a five or a six to put out the fire. That's a really tricky thing to do. These guys, on a three, they flee. That's two spaces away. One, two. These guys move their two inches. One, two. I don't think I used enough points for my military. These guys down here on a two, they're going to loot, and that's the last looting that they can do in that building. Uh, so, there's another loot. So the building has one, two, three, four fires, five fires, and six, seven, eight, nine loot counters. Not good. Not good. You know, I have another fire engine, but I don't have the AP to bring them on. Speaking of AP, I've got three. So the first thing we've got to do is move him up to there. The second thing we've got to do is... Hmm. These guys are still close enough. Uh, we're going to try to put that fire out, and we're going to do it again. Five, and we did it! We bought ourselves one fire. So, let's see where these guys go. On a three, they withdraw one space. Down here, on a five, they withdraw one space. That's it. That's all the room they got. And these guys move one, two. So on the next turn, they'll start piling into the church. Sorry, globalists. The churches are open. That's three AP for security forces. Uh, we're going to leave him there. He's still got them programmed the way he wants. And we are going to spend all three AP. We're going to move up uh, one. And he's got support. That's one. Uh, you know what? I'm going to bring this guy on. Two. And we're going to try to put that fire out. We are due for nothing. All right. Well, we don't have any combat to do, so we'll roll for these guys. And on a six... When faced with a tank, they will flee two inches. One, two. So they thought they were going to get all kinds of good stuff from the mom and pop shops. And boy, how do they run. So we got one guy goes in, one, two guys go in. And then everybody else moves up. And we'll bring him around to that side. These guys, within a five is a withdraw. So they'll move to there. And that's about it. So they do have, if you can't withdraw, they can slip through there. Well, that stinks. All right. Um, I know how to deal with that. 3 AP. We go 1, 2, and then we move 10 inches to here. 
Now what do they do? On a five, they withdraw one space. They are more than three away. That could be a problem. On a five, they are looters. On a five, they loot. So, leader says, I'll grab one. There's a loot counter for you. I think I need a lot more loot counters. And these guys pile in. So, two more. They start to fill up the pews. And we'll just bring them up like so. All right, big AP, big AP, six, we needed that. So this guy is going to move 10 inches to there, disgorge three. So that's three AP. I've got three more that I can use, four, five, and then we can take one shot at putting out a fire. And we didn't get it. But that's okay because we have got a total of minus one to the roll here. This guy is destroyed, and we slide up into contact. And then we have... Um, they're within two. So that's it for the combat. So these guys will flee from the tank. So that's one, two. If they flee one more time, they're going to flee off the table. These guys... Well, we get our... Churchgoers crack open the hymnals. And then these guys down here. Now they are within range of the security, so that's going to be a withdraw. They've got nowhere to withdraw to. Well, they, yeah, they do actually. Okay. So they withdraw this way, putting them exactly one inch away from both. I'm being very generous here because we get our AP now. And with 5 AP, we're going to go 1, 2. No, he's here. We're going to go 1, 2. Okay, we got him boxed in now. So that's 1 AP. Move to contact. That's 2 AP. And now we can try 3. Hey, we put out a fire. Fantastic. And we got, uh, oh, he's not adjacent anymore. All right, we're going to move him up to here. And next turn, he can try to put that out. If we can roll an AP. Start with these guys. On a five, they flee. So one, two. One, two. One, two. That's the last one. So they're gone. They've had enough of this. We, we managed to save that part of the city. Down on this side, we got a six, which is a flea result. So they can't flee to anywhere. So we're going to pull off. Um, we'll pull off these four. Because these guys go one, two. And then these guys as well. So they have just enough left. And of course, our churchgoers continue to pile in. And I've got six AP, so we're going to spend one down here. Oh, wait a minute, how far away are they? That's one, two. They can go one, two. So we're just going to funnel them out of the main city. So that's two AP. And... Put the fire out for three. Hey, look at that. Put four, and then we got one more to try to put that fire out, which we did not. Okay, so at the end of the day, ba -ba -ba -ba, where are we at here? Um, the uh, flu season has ended. The churches are open. We're going to roll for these guys. And on a six, they flee. So we managed to save most of the apartment complex, most of the downtown shops. Unfortunately, the big box store is a total loss. We put out a little bit of fires, and we weren't able to, the, the forces of the globalists weren't able to shut down the churches. 
which is going to be a real problem for them uh, because it's all over. So what are we looking at here as far as uh, victory points, or I should call them loss points? I wound up with a total of one, two, three fires. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, 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 not three. Four fires. There's one over here too. And then I wound up with five, nine, ten, eleven loot counters. Twelve loot counters. So altogether, you're looking at 17 points. Call it another five. I just don't think I did very good at all here. But I also think that I should have been rolling two dice. I should have been rolling one dice for AP for the security forces and one dice for the National Guard. I think if I had done that, I would have been able to bring on a lot more fire departments, put out a lot more fires, and then that would have held these guys right where they are. I need to go look at the rules and figure out what to do when you're working on the edge of the board here, like this. I think I like the way this worked out. At the end of the day, what happened is I forced myself to finally get them in a pincher and drive them off the board. So that probably worked pretty well. Likewise, over there, as long as there was an avenue of escape, they could escape. For the security forces, you have to push them. Oh, I forgot this loot counter too. The 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 of those. 5, 10, 5, 10, 17 of those plus those. I just, it's not good. You do that. The other thing that I need to do, now I wasn't able to use any police brutality, which is fine, I don't regret it, but we need to do a scenario with the Channel 4 news team, I think. I got these action reporters here that we still haven't used. And we need to play a two-player with these guys. So that'll be next on the agenda to try to do a two-player game. In the meantime, we're learning. We're developing. We're getting better. We're playing more complicated games. Uh, I think this is a great game. I'm really enjoying it. It gets a little bit repetitive during the uh, middle portions. But once things start to resolve, uh, it really forces you to kind of think ahead and, you know, Cut off, cut your losses. I hope you had as much fun uh, watching it as I had playing it. Keep an eye out for the next one. When the city of Townsville is invaded by something worse than rioters. Reporters. Ugh. Thanks again. I'm praying for you. Viva Cristo Rey.